<laughs> Irving. Irving, yes. Irving, with the speed, takes the length of the court. NBA's Kyrie Irving angered some people with his latest tweet where he praised Allah. And just to be safe, he used the word God and then Allah in brackets. But it still wasn't enough for some Islam haters. Some told him he shouldn't be promoting his faith. Others cried he shouldn't be giving credit to God. And some imbeciles clearly didn't attend any history lessons at school. Kyrie has used the word Allah in the past and even in his previous Instagram videos he promotes belief in God and unity of people of faith. Weary people are aware that the battle has now become that of atheism and theism as opposed to the age-old Christianity versus Islam. But sadly some people remain so closed-minded and can't tell the difference between God in English and God in Arabic, which I was glad to see some people point out. So to reiterate, Arabic Bibles call God Allah and in his other tweets he also refers to other beliefs too. Sean pointed out the bias that exists against Islam well in his tweet by exposing how people don't have an issue when Christian players thank their God and talk about their faith. But here, because it's Islam, people suddenly have an issue. So I'm glad to see Kyrie is normalizing a word we should all be comfortable with. People of God should be coming together and encouraging faith because obviously the powers that be are hell-bent in removing faith from ourselves and our children. You know it actually exposes some people as having a problem with Islam as we have also seen in Switzerland this week where they banned the niqab and the burqa and there stats show that no one in the country wears a burqa and only 30 women wear the niqab and ironically when passing the verdict they were all wearing face masks. The irony is clearly lost on these foolish individuals. And how is it that during a health and economic crisis they are so focused and hell-bent on alienating an already marginalized community in their nation and that too on International Women's Day and in the same vein they claim they are standing up for women either they're hypocritical or downright stupid. I vote for both. So back to our mate Kyrie and people like him. I invite you to look into Islam and yes I will provide the links in the description and please don't judge the faith by the adherents and you will surely find true joy because the creator, our creator has told us so. So this is not something that we should be delaying or taking lightly. It is integral for the betterment of this world, of ours and the hereafter. May Allah guide us all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.